Hi there, let's learn how to customize WooCommerce checkout pages. So we have our checkout page here, let's just refresh it and it's like this. And I don't want this to be here, I want this to be on the bottom and I want this order total to be up there. So how do we do that? Let's, let's dive into. Before we can even change this, we need to create a child team. So let's go to teams, create a new folder and name it, let's say, child 17. And then since we are going to create a child team for our 2017 team, we'll use the style here, style CSS, go to child team, child 17, create a new file and then call it style CSS. We can remove here this one, we can call it this or we can call it even child 17, doesn't really matter. Then we will remove this. We, you can add a custom description as you want. Customize who checkout page. Let's call it a version one. The text domain is from the 2017 team and we need to use that slug as a template here. By that, we are giving WordPress an indication that this is a child team and not a parent team. And that's it okay let's save it then let's let's go to appearances teams you'll see the child 17 and activate it and now if we refresh the checkout page we'll see that the style is not correct we don't have any style actually so how do we do that well we'll go to whoops not here but here and we'll create a new file and this file and save it and name it functions PHP. Now that we have saved it, let's do a check. So if this constant is not defined, then it means that WordPress wasn't loaded and this is accessed directly and we don't want that. Okay, now we have that also here. And then we need to hook on the VP and Q scripts hook our own function like that. Okay. Now we can enqueue them here. So use the VP and Q style and add a handle. Let's call it 2017 CSS and then use the get temple directory. URI and then add the style CSS. And why do we do that like this? Because we don't want this to be here on import. Why is that? We don't have any way to exclude it from the CSS and this actual, this way there will always be another HTTP request to this other style. And with this one, it's let's say more cacheable and even if you decide to remove it, you, you can remove it, you can dequeue it if you want. So it's a much better approach. And then let's refresh. And yeah, we have the same styles here. Great. And now on the important part is how to handle this. Well, if we go to plugins and we go to WooCommerce, you'll see that they have a template here, templates folder. And each part of WooCommerce is also separated inside folders. Since we are on the checkout page, we'll probably need this one. And also to, to check all this form or, or all this checkout form, we will go to form checkout PHP. And to override this file, you can always read the documentation and also this comment. So we need to create a folder WooCommerce, another one checkout and then use this file. So let's go to our team. Let's create the folder WooCommerce. Then inside that folder, let's create another one, which is called checkout. And inside that folder, we'll copy all, the, all of this paste it and save it again as the 
I think it's form checkout and PHP. Let's just check it out. Yeah, form checkout. Okay, great. So let's load the page again. Nothing has changed, but what if I add something like that here? Let's refresh. Okay, we have it. Great. So now we are sure that we are loading this one. And how do we move this to the bottom and this order to the top? Well, if you look closely, you see a class column to set, and it's something that WooCommerce is using to separate this into two columns. And we want this to be placed up, right? And we want this checkout shipping to be placed here, so it will go right after the billing. And also this ID, we don't want that here anymore because this is the holder of the customer details. And then what's next? So we have done this. We need to close this divider at the bottom. And then we also need to use this column to here. Okay, then let's place it a little bit like that and then use the, the one more divider to do it like that and let's and then let's move it like this right okay let's now refresh whoa so we already have done some great great reordering with just a simple copy and paste right and now, what if we want to move this shipping here or here or somewhere else? How to do that? Well, first, make sure that you have more shipping zones. So if we go to WooCommerce settings and then to shipping, you need to create more shipping zones. I created, this is a default one but no shipping methods were included here. So you should go here and click add shipping methods, define one of them, select add, and then you can also add it the cost uh, or anything else. And then I also created one that is only for Croatia, where I selected Croatia here in the zone, named it like that and added the free shipping. And that's it. So now I can test different addresses. As you can see on the checkout page, if I change to Croatia, be sure to watch the shipping. The shipping is now free shipping. Okay, let's now move the shipping right above here. So below the your order title. So we need to move it somewhere here or here. Let's say here. So this will be our shipping spot, right? Okay, and you can see that WooCommerce is using this WooCommerce checkout order review. If you don't know what, or what is hooked in here, you can always go to the WooCommerce folder, find in folder, and let's say add action like that. And now we can see, and we can see that there is an order review. If you don't know what's going on in that fun intent function, function, sorry about that, function, then use again search and type function and the name of that function. You will then go here and you'll see that it's using a checkout review order. So to change that, we also need to go to checkout and review order. I'll copy that here and then I'll go to teams, checkout and then new file and save it as review order PHP. Great, so now we have this and since I want to move the shipping, let's just copy this out here and save it. Now if I refresh this, 
there's no shipping here and sh we should be able to choose the shipping right so let's go to our form checkout and here where the shipping spot is let's copy this here and let's say great so we have selected Croatia we have free shipping that's awesome and let's now let's choose the United States so what has happened the shipping hasn't changed and why is that because the HTML that WooCommerce is refreshing is this one and here is no sh there is no shipping anymore here so our shipping was not replaced with the new methods and how to do that well first let's take a look on how WooCommerce is actually performing this refresh so let's check here we have an ajax call and we have some real parameters like result reload messages and fragments and inside these fragments we can see that each fragment is actually a class and each value of that fragment is actually html and a big one right so what what does it do it goes it's it goes here it uses this this one and then with the with jquery it's fine it finds this this element and then replaces the whole element with the new new html and we'll do just that but before we do that we actually need to change this shipping right this shipping right here and put it in a table so how do we do that well i'll just use a table here that will say table let's say my custom shipping table and body and then put both of them here like that and let's save if I now refresh everything we'll see that the styling is here there are some shipping methods but because the country is set to United Kingdom but what if I choose Croatia again nothing happened and I still can do that but as you can see nothing is here correctly done because Croatia is not included in these ship methods so how do we change actually this well if we go to woocommerce and go to includes and to file class vc ajax you can scroll down a bit and you'll see that there is so we have also the update shipping method but actually what we need here is the update order review and if we if we scroll down a bit you'll see that there are fragments here and we can filter them out so how do we do that well let's copy that here and then let's go to our functions and say add filter and say child 70 fragment let's go create that function and inside this function there is a parameter fragment or fragments multiple plural and we'll also return them but before we return them we want to add our own here and how do we do that well pretty simple we can just copy this out we can then start the buffer echo this out and once this is echoed out we want the buffer to return everything that was buffered in our output so we can just use this shipping html and like that and then we can go to fragments and we need to enter the key with the class we want to change so this is it and then shipping html
so what will be done here once the ajax is returned in the form checkout the jquery will look into this class it will get that element and it will replace it with this new html and once another ajax is done again everything will will be done so we need to have that class again inside the html okay so let's refresh it now so we have free shipping and if i go to united states here is done but the free shipping isn't and if we go to console fragments we have it but what have we done here we didn't include the dot so jquery doesn't know if this is a class an id or something else so let's add the dot here save it and now let's also go to croatia and then united states and here it is the shipping has changed and everything is working now fine and that's it I hope you have learned a lot on how to customize WooCommerce checkout pages and also how to move some parts of it around and how to test it and solve if it needs to solve.